Hey guys, Dustin Mansell here. I want to personally welcome you guys to Ringless ALN, where we have a Ringless voicemail platform. And we also have a text messaging platform if you come in at level two and higher. Almost an easy way to collect cell phone numbers. Ringless voicemail is an easy way to go after them, retarget them, or go after your list that we give you guys as well, depending on what level you come in at. If you're in easy one up, which you're in Profits Passports, you are an easy one up. It's a perfect way to export all of your contacts that haven't, that haven't paid, all the ones that just signed up haven't paid. You need to export those into another a CSV file. It makes a ringless voicemail that goes directly out to them with a follow-up saying, hey, we've seen you signed up, but you cannot get paid until you join one of our levels. So it's a perfect way to do it. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys here the quick start guide um, for, for Profits Passports, okay? So we're gonna show you guys how to make your own domain and how to forward that domain to your Profits Passports affiliate link. Um, if you already know how to do it, check down below. There are some shortcuts. It'll tell you exactly where to fast forward to. If you don't need to learn how to do the domain forwarding, if you just want to learn how to do the, the campaign or upload a list or upload an audio file, um, all those shortcuts are down below. Um, at the end of this, uh, you are going to get started. Um, the support at Ring This ALN. If you have any questions, and I wish you guys the best of luck and just make a lot of money. All right, guys. So this is how you're going to build your own domain. That's going to forward it to your Profits Passports link all right so when you drop in a regular voicemail you don't have to say your bitly you don't have to say your your long promise passports.com forward slash secret right you're just going to get a, a domain name so what you want to do in here when you go to godaddy.com is you come down here to find your perfect domain we're going to go to lipnofingers.com we're going to search that right we're going to see if that is available it looks like lipnofingers.com is available all right so what we would do with, from this is we would go to add to cart then we'll go to continue. You guys could add privacy if you like to. This means that when they look up your website, they cannot tell who you are. They will not have any information. So this is $10 per year. The ultimate protection is $14.99 per year. You could look at the details here. You could just say no thanks. For now, we're going to say no thanks. We are also not going to do a free website because we do not need a website and we do not need email as well. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to continue to cart. So if you see, you, um, you can sign in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here. If you have, if you do not have an account, you can create an account right here, which is fairly simple. You can link it to your Amazon or your Facebook. I do have an account, so I'm going to log in this way. And I'm gonna use one of those cards, and we're gonna do one year. We're not gonna do the whole, the whole year, right? And we're gonna continue to purchase. Once it's done, it'll say welcome to liftnofingers.com. Congrats. Now let's put your domain to work. So what you could do now, you do not want to do any of this right here. All right. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get out of here and you are going to want to go to under your name and click my products. And if you go to this right away, you'll see your products anyway. You'll see all my products that are here. I have a lot of domains, but you're going to go to wherever yours is. If you, this is your first time doing it, it'll be right on top. It's going to be your only one. I'm going to go to liftnofingers.com and I'm going to go to DNS. Once you click on DNS, it's going to give you these options here to forward. You'll see right here, right? So we're going to add something to forward. I'm going to go over to my profits passports, which is right here. And I'm going to copy my link and I'm going to, and I'm going to paste it right into here. I'm going to come back. So I'm not going to take any of this stuff. All the HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash comes out. What I do want to do is I want to put a source code in here because I want to know that it's coming from the site. So I'll just say lift no fingers. So I know when I go to um, when I go to my my profits passports. Let me put this in here. You can see what the different source codes are. Facebook post, Facebook post. Um, this is my work, what we do all your work.com, Facebook posts, text alerts, uh, text alert three, text alert three, all these things. This is a text blast. I know exactly where each one is coming from, where each one is signing up from because I put a source code in there. All right. So that source code is going to be in. So I'm going to, and I'm not going to mask it. You do not mask it. You just forward only. All right. So I'm going to hit save. So I will go up to here and I will copy this. And open up another tab. I'm going to paste that in and then enter and see where this takes me. It takes me right to here. 
right to my, this is mine, it's, it's, you could, this is my number, 4286. Takes it right here to liftnofingers.com. When somebody goes and insert, inserts their email, or they, uh, somebody has, I'm sure has works and they create an account, it'll show that it's created through my website, right? My lift, liftnofinger.com, I'll be able to know exactly who signed up through my website. And that's as easy as it gets to create a domain to forward. So this way, when you're dropping your voicemail message, you could say, make sure to, uh, to go to www.liftnofingers.com for more information. Um, and it could be one of your calls to actions. And how easy is that? Liftnofingers.com. So what you want to make sure you do is you want to get a domain that's very smooth, very off the tongue, something that's very easy, short, short as you can get it to drive them to go to your website. So how easy was that? A domain that forwards to your affiliate link. Now you could do this with any affiliate link that you have. It does not have to be the one I just showed you. If you're in any different business, you could just forward whatever your domain is to that affiliate link. That easy. So that's that way they don't have to go and write down this long, you know, bitly or this long, you know, shortener or anything, which is very easy. This domain, go to www.yoururl.com and we'll get more information. So now I want to show you a quick start guide on the actual Ringless voicemail platform. How to make a campaign. Going from uploading a list, uploading a file, to sending out your campaign, to send it to where when, you, when they call back, what the IVR is going to say and how you can add them to do not call. So the next, I think it's something like eight minutes, we'll show you exactly how to do a campaign. I'll see you after. All right, guys. So this is how you are going to create your ringless voicemail campaign. This is what is going to get delivered to the cell phones. I'll show you how to upload your audio, how to upload your records, which is your list, and then how to schedule the timing and how to schedule callbacks and all that good stuff. So here we go. We're going to go to create new voicemail drop. <clears throat> and then here's going to be ring demo. Four seven twenty twenty. Um, this is where you're gonna do your file, your audio file. This is what's gonna be the, what they hear. All right, it's gonna be mine is in here. Wait, wait, wait. All right, you can listen to it here if you like to. Um, then this is. Then you come down here. You go to call forwarding. This is gonna. What happens if somebody calls back? So you don't have to do this. You could just drop a, a ringless voicemail into their voicemail and that's it. And they can't call that number back, right? But if you do the callback, and that means that they can call that back. You can do the immediate transfer, which means that they'll go to whatever number you put in here. It could be your cell phone number. It could be your um, your call center. Um, the IVR recording, which is a, another recording, which is actually, I'm gonna use the same exact recording. In my recording, I have the call to action the same exact way, where they could press one to get transferred or they could press two to do not call. and what the, the number I'm gonna have in here is a number that I get from 800 link. That is, uh, it's another IVR. So if they press one, it's gonna go right to the IVR. If they press two, they're gonna be on the do not call. And we wanna make sure they are able to press two so they can't complain and, and, and do any of that stuff, right? So my file that I'm gonna use is gonna be the same exact file. It is going out to the ringless voicemail. When they call the number back, um, the number that they get, remember, it's a rotating number, so it's going to be a different number that everybody gets. When they call that back, it'll have my same message with my call to action on there, which will be my domain, and it'll also give them my uh, press, you know, press two to press one to get transferred, and press two to get never hear from me again. All right. So once that's done, you go to next. You go to hourly pacing if you wanted to. How many you want to do per hour? Um, I'm going to do 250 here because that's the the what I'm sending them out to. I'm going to show a missed call. I am. When you show a missed call, it's going to have highly, way more people are going to call back. They're going to see, boom, they got a missed call. They're going to call the number back right away. Then they're going to hear that IVR message with your message on there and then also give them the option to opt, up, opt out. The business rules or if you want to, um, if you want to exclude any, um, you know, any states or any area codes, I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go to next. Um, here's the times you can schedule if you just wanted to do it on Tuesdays only, if you just wanted to do it on Thursdays only, turn every all these other ones off. Um, actually, Tuesdays on, off. And you could adjust these numbers whatever time. If you want them to go out at, at, at noon, remember it's all central standard time. If you want to go at noon, you know, uh, if you're in New York, you want to go out at noon, then you'd make this at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. 
you know, if you wanted to go out at 3 p.m. Um, in New York, then you'd put this at 2 p.m. Same thing with Pacific Standard Time. If you wanted to go out at noon, then you'd make sure that this is at 2 o'clock, so it goes out at noon your time. So next, we're going to go to next here, and we're going to add records. And what records are is your list. These are the your your leads, right? And if you're new coming on here, we're giving you leads. And what I highly recommend is you break those leads into 200 or 250, and you send them to those leads um, at first. You don't go and send them to all 2,000 or all 5,000 or whatever level you come in at. I'll break them if you're new. If you're not new and you're professional, then do you know how to do it and do what you got to do, okay? Right here is the, the CSV format that they have to be uploaded in. We give you the format. It'll have the, the digits in there, but it does not have the phone two. So in order to get that phone two in there, it's like this is the list, right? I'm going to right click. I'm going to open with Microsoft Excel. But what I'm going to do, remember, it has to be phone two, capital P, capital T, all right? And I'm going to enter, I'm going to insert. And I'm going to put capital P, O, and E, two. No space in between, okay? None of these numbers could have spaces either. If you have your own organic list, these cannot have spaces in them at all. If you need to learn how to take them out, you select them all. You go to find and select, and you'll uh, you'll replace, you know, the dash with the space. You'll re um, The parentheses, you'll replace those. Google that somewhere else or YouTube it somewhere else, but... Just go to how do I YouTube? How can I take out dashes in my Excel spreadsheet? And then I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save as I'm going to save it as a CSV file, and I'm going to over I'm going to override this guy here because that's I'm going to replace him. All right. So once I do that, then I will um, I'll close out. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to go here. I'm going to browse the file. I'm going to browse to this file that we just had, which is on my desktop under Ringo's voicemail. And that's a file we're going to have, right? You can tell that we have 251 records that are imported. None of them are invalid and none of them are duplicated, um, which is phenomenal, all right? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, I'm going to save this list and I'm going to go to add records. It's going to be uploaded. Once it's done being uploaded, it'll send me an email that I'll say they're done being uploaded. And then I could continue with the um, with my campaign. But for now, I could go over here to campaigns and you'll see this campaign in here. It's a demo, right? Right now, my list isn't uploaded yet, so it's going to be off for now. But once it's uploaded, it'll be on on and it'll start sending out my ringless voicemail because I put it at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays, which right now it is at 1 30 on a Tuesday. So it'll send it out. Um, what you want to do, and I highly recommend, um, you send out your list. So if you're new, you send out your first list, your 200, your 250, whatever it is, on a Tuesday um, at around noon, okay? And the next Thursday, send out the same exact campaign, the same thing, the same 250 people, um, the same list, the same message, everything. The following week, send out the same message, the same list to this, or the, the same everything to the same exact list again. So that's three times. Then on that next Tuesday, start another list. Start your list number two. Then the following week, start list number three, and then come back th after three weeks, come back to this list again. Send it so four times total, all right? You're going to get a different result every single time, and we want you to get the best results. So I'm going to leave this here for a minute. I'm going to fast forward once it goes on, and I'll go from there. All right, so as you can tell, the status is now on, and uh, so the ringless voice ones are going out. Um, we've had 46 or, as a success already, have 194 that are in progress. Um, if it was in, say, 11 p.m. came right now, then it would the rest would go out tomorrow. Um, and then fail. These ones are, the, the voicemail is either not set up, it's full, the phone is off, and tomorrow or the next time that you have set up um, for it to go out, it'll go and try to rehash these numbers right here to send it to those guys. Invalidating me numbers that are on the do not call registry, that sort of stuff. Um, these are all in the queue. I have none in the queue right now. They're all in progress. It'll show you what the cost is when it's done. Uh, and the pending is also going to be what the current cost is right now <clears throat> for you. And obviously they're going to be a little bit different depending on what level that you are in. Um, and once that is done, you've sent out your ringless voicemail. And if you wanted to start another one, you know, you just do the same exact thing. Um, so on, on the next uh, Thursday, you want to do the same deal, do the same exact list. You'll see I've had three people that have called the number back so far. It's going to keep going up and up and up from there. And they'll hear the message and they'll opt in or do whatever they have to do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.